Heads up for drivers if you're traveling on I-95 northbound in Virginia anytime soon, specifically in the Spotsylvania area. It's a stretch of road notorious for crashes and backups. Now VDOT has a way to stop that, and the solution is lowering the speed limit. Marcella Robertson joins us live along I-95 this morning with the details. A morning, Marcella. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, if you've ever driven on that stretch of 95 northbound, you've uh, likely experienced those delays firsthand. And while it's hard to picture a speed limit of 35 miles per hour on the highway, uh, if you're sitting in traffic, you're probably going a lot slower than that. So VDOT says the idea is to slow people down, slow drivers down before you even get to that congestion, and that'll get people through a lot faster. Now, this specific stretch of uh, roadway that we're talking about, again, this is 95 northbound direction only. It is a 15-mile stretch between exits 115 and 130 in Spotsylvania. And Avida just unveiled what they're calling variable speed limit signs that right now they are visible, but they only alert drivers to the maximum speed limit. There are nearly 50 new signs to look out for about every half mile. And next Wednesday, those signs will be fully operational. And if there's a crash or congestion, that is when the speed limit will be lowered. Now, the speed limits at any given time could range from 35 to 70 miles per hour. And uh, here's the explanation that VDOT gives. If you put rice through a funnel too quickly, like traffic, it'll clog. If it is brought in slower, the rice or the traffic gets through much faster. And the goal is not only to ease congestion, but also to make that uh, stretch of roadway a lot safer for drivers. It causes them to drive a little bit more aware, more alert, um, so that we'll reduce some of the crashes caused by those sudden uh, stop and go conditions. Um, the crashes on this quarter um, are high and we have about 55% of them are rear end crashes. So definitely caused by people not being aware of the slowdowns. And again, those signs will be fully operational come Wednesday. So VDOT is just asking drivers to be careful, pay attention to those new signs. And the goal is to see how successful this project is on that stretch of 95. And then they will potentially implement that in other areas in Virginia where we're also seeing a lot of congestion. That's the latest here along I-95. I'll send it back to you guys.